Steve Carrington, Palmer Mayor, trying to take you five days into the future for our August 22nd Palmer City Council meeting. Decided to film outside because it's really nice today. The Pioneer Peak there in the background. I'm down at the uh, pavilion area right next to the uh, Carte Plaza. Um, for starters, we've got a quick update with the library. The architect, Gary Wolf, and his staff and consultants have been working hard and meeting with people. They had a booth at August 11th at the Friday Fling, and they've had boards up at the library for people coming into the library to uh, comment on what are the things they like about the library, what would they add to the library. Uh, they've been meeting with staff and uh, city employees and friends of the library and the library advisory board for the borough and, and others trying to get comments and ideas and they're going to try to collect all these and try to make some sense of it and they're supposed to come and present uh, to the council at the next meeting on September 12th um, and give us kind of an update of how things are going and I think they're planning a, a public meeting to make some of those presentations as well later in September. And then I also wanted to comment it's uh, we've got a couple new parks opening up in Palmer. So one's the Palmer Family Park. Uh, it's down off of Hemmer Road. It's technically outside the city limits, but we uh, we heard about it because there was uh, this this guy, Mr. Uh, Joe Pereira, uh, kept coming to the council telling us what a great idea it was. And uh, I went to the opening of it. There's a lot of people involved with it. And I, I was very impressed with the amount. There was uh, probably well over 100 people at the opening. And there was just a lot of people that had helped giving money and working on it and when it came to thanking people they turned on the mic and they went through and thanked all the people and they they did, did real good just acknowledging some of the key people that were in the in there but they didn't have us any of us elected people come up there it was like no this is just it's a community park and uh they were recognizing that and i i think it's very good and uh it's right there off of Hemmer Road next to the, uh, the, the Palmer Nazarene Church. And uh, it's set up to be for, it's particularly good for handicapped people. Um, and the, the substance they use for the ground is amazing. It is spongy, soft material. And if nothing else, adults should go and like walk on it just to feel what it feels like. Or go play on the equipment because it's, it's designed for anybody to play on. And then also we've got uh, Hagen Park, which is a park that's between Dolphin and Eagle. And up on the Eagle end, there's installation of some, uh, installation of some playground equipment. This is playground equipment. We've had it for a few years. There was difficulties getting it put together and figuring out how to plant it in the ground and do it to the right level and safety-wise. But that should be coming up here in the next week. It should be uh, playable. I'll include a picture or two of the construction for that Hagen Park. It's still looking for uh, looking for applications for PNZ. If someone wants to be on the PNZ, you have to be a citizen of Palmer. But there should be application online at palmerak.org. As far as the meeting highlights, the agenda, we've got a couple public hearings. Um, the first is a resolution about the Palmer fee schedule. Uh, and it's about advertising rates for dasher boards and hanging banners for our MTA event center. That's where the ice, ice rink is. And uh, basically we've paid off the, the bond that we had for that and that it's, that removes some of the restrictions that we have had on that facility. And so we're wanting to uh, change some of the pricing so that we can actually maybe get a little more money back to put back into the facility uh, through advertising and, and other means like that. And the second is a resolution about um, the 2023 budget. Basically, it's over halfway through the year and we try to make adjustments so that things were budgeted, but then actual costs have come in. And so this is a way of kind of uh, setting the books to be more correct uh, mid-year so that that's on there as then there's also four action memorandum the first is request for a council community grant for Matsu Valley rebuild um, they had come and spoke to us at our last meeting just telling us about their project and how they work and uh, there this is an actual application that asking for uh, 
a community grant to help them build a place here right next to Palmer. And then the second action memorandum is a city manager is trying to buy a whole bunch of road salt, 180 tons, I believe it was. And then there's also a third one is for a three-year contract with HDL Engineering Consultants for projects out at the Palmer Airport. And the fourth is for a contract for Alaska demolition for debris removal for the Palmer Library roof collapse. And that's trying to uh, take out some of the, the damaged areas and get things kind of winterized and ready so that we don't lose more of the building as we try to figure out what we're doing about that building. And then under unfinished business, we have uh, the MPO resolution. And uh, I still think that with all the moving parts involved with this, that the different agencies and uh, to me, I still say the best way to understand it and, and direct it is to be a, a part of it, be a member that votes and be part of it. And then if it's not working out, then we can, you know, as our attorney has advised us and did the research, we can step out you know, and withdraw ourselves from it. But I think we're not going to know a lot of the questions that we have until it starts getting formed and we need to be part of that. So this has been Steve Carrington, Palmer Mayor, taking you five days into the future. Mm -hmm.